want to do a warning before I start this video, because this is talking about the subject of child transitioning, and even though I'm not completely cool with the idea of child transitioning, I'm also not against it if the child is well aware of what may happen in the future. I do think that a child is still too young to decide on this type of thing. I will talk about it in the video. My uh, intro was actually cut off at the beginning, but I just want to know that I fully just want to have the welfare of this child fully intact. I feel like the mother and the father have been waging war, pulling this kid back and forth, and I do hope for the best for them. So I would say listen and thank you. Um, so there's a story that's been going around where it's of... Uh, a young child who, when with their father, they identify as James, but with their mother, they identify as a girl named Luna, and they don't personally identify as this, and they only seem to do it when they are around their mother. So I'm not sure if the child is being possibly led into this path by their mother, or possibly they just feel more comfortable being Luna with their mother. See, I don't know the whole side of the story because it doesn't seem like the mother has actually left anything, you know. Because there's a bunch of people now saying that her child isn't trans and that she is forcing the child to be trans. And I haven't seen anything from the mother, so I'm not sure if she truly is forcing her child to be trans or if the child just happens to be comfortable with being trans in front of their mother. But judging by what a lot of people are saying, it seems like the child doesn't want to be trans. And doesn't want to uh, transition at all. In fact, it seems like it, it, it does wholly seem like the mother is trying to coerce the child into believing something that is not true about themselves. <clears throat> And it, you, you would ask, you know, why would somebody do this to their kid? I mean, it isn't actually the first case of this happening. It happens quite a bit. I mean, the most popular case is actually done in supervision of a sexual doctor of some sort, I believe. Let me see. Um, let me check this out. Okay. So... There was a doctor who was a psychologist and a sexologist and was trying to study the whole thing with um, gender fluidity, and his name was Dr. William Money. That's a very crazy name, if you think about it. Follow William Money. <laughs> Dr. James William Money. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, he forced a child to go, go years being misgendered and basically made these parents force their child into a gender identity that they personally did not have. And this child permanently had gender dysphoria because people were constantly calling them uh, a girl name and they kept on telling them that they were a girl. But in an actuality, they knew that they were, they were indeed male. And it's kind of shocking that a parent would do that. Later on, the boy, um, his name was David Raymer. David eventually found out that he was born biologically male and everything made sense to him. However, because of all the years of torture that he went through by his parents and by this doctor forcing him into a gender identity he was not comfortable with, he committed suicide. He went through so much hell because, for one, he, he could not have children because of all the stuff that they put him through. They forced him at a very young age to be chemically castrated and all sorts of crazy things. And it's kind of sad if you think about it because he never got to truly enjoy growing up. I don't know if I want to keep this hair on her, but like with David's situation, he 
he had no control over his situation, which it seems to be the case with the boy here or girl or sorry, I'm sorry. This is terrible of me. I don't even know whether or not this child has um chosen to be the gender that the mother has stated that they have chosen to be. So, I, I, James or Luna, I do deeply feel sorry for you because you're in such a deep and inrooted battle with what you are. And I'm, I'm supportive of you if you are indeed transgender. But without sufficient information, I can't make a determining factor on that. I mean, like, I think I like this. Okay. Um... But yeah, like, without that, I can't tell you for sure. I just hope that you as a child are okay and that nobody's forcing you into something you don't want to be. Because, like, your gender identity is who you are. It's what you grow up to be. It's what you as a person are going to show the world what you are. And it's just like... I don't like saying that the mother is abusing the child because maybe the mother does believe that their child is transgender. And I mean, they've had a doctor say that their child is transgender. So maybe they just think their child is transgender based off of that. Um, uh-huh. And I don't like... I mean, I think a lot of the stuff that they've put out for James, some of it is a little propaganda uh, Papa gr- propaganda for James or Luna. I don't think they, um... Because a lot of it keeps on reciting their local church group does not approve of this. Um, it could be as easy as J- James here doesn't want to identify as female around the uh, the family because they feel like it's going to make them go to hell or something. Um, but yeah, I, I, I have no idea how to feel about this, but I do agree on one thing. That what they're putting this kid through is child abuse. Um, and I mean, I wish that there was some sort of way to help them out other than making a video oh. about it. And I mean, like, we could donate to the Save James fund, but I, to be honest, I wouldn't, I don't want to donate to it because I don't know the full story. I don't know if the dad is just being a bigot or if the mother is being controlling. It seems like the mother's being controlling because she won't even allow them to cut the kid's hair. Um... I mean, and this includes the child that doesn't identify as female. So it kind of leads me to think that she possibly wants to transition both children and doesn't seem to want to tell the dad right away. Um, ah. She just wants the, the dad mm-hmm. to pay for one transitioning and then come out as a, the one of virtue because she paid for the other kids transitioning. And it seems like the mother is forcing the transition. Because I don't... I mean, I seriously don't get why she wouldn't consider maybe possibly waiting till the kid's a little older to decide on their gender identity. Um, I know this is a subject that a lot of people dispute. I personally, I don't think a kid as early as eight years old can decide on something like that. Because, yet again, what about later along the line? What if they want to transition back or detransition into the, their biological gender? Then they're screwed because they're castrated. They can't have kids. And I mean, I think the mom should really consider that. Like, that's pretty young to be transitioning. They should at least hit their sexual maturity so that all their stuff is working and then they can you know donate the basically freeze their eggs and all that and i mean if this woman's a doctor the the one who's um whose child this is 
She should know this. It's a very extreme thing to do. And, I don't know, I, I feel like this is really messed up. I, I personally, I would not wish this upon any child, and I'm so sorry for them. And I, I would, if the child truly is trans, I would wait till they've hit sexual maturity. Because later along the lines, James or Luna could decide on something else. This age is pretty much an age of gender fluidity, and um, some sometimes boys can like things that girls like, and vice versa. Um, I mean, I know when I was a little girl, I liked playing um, video games. I still do. I mean, I, st I liked playing video games. I liked playing in the dirt. I was a rough and tumble kind of gal. But when I got older, I liked putting on makeup and like doing things that are typically gendered for females. So I would say his mom should really wait or her mom, their mom. I'm sorry. I do this quite a bit when I'm talking about gender and I ex I apologize full-heartedly about any sort of misgendering I do of your child because if your child is transgender, which yet again I do not know, because I have not personally spoken little Luna slash James, and I'm not gonna give them a name that they don't approve of. That's why I'm saying Luna slash James. Like I don't even know if the child themselves chose that name, that name Luna, because it seems like it would be something that the mother would pick personally. Um. Because I don't know many people who pick that name as their own. And Luna is indeed a very nice name, but I, I don't know. I kind of think it seems like it wouldn't be something a child during modern day would pick for their name. And I think a child should full-heartedly be able to pick their name. If they are transgender, you know? <sighs> There's a little bit of peeking with the hair, but I think I, I still like it because I think it matches pretty well. Um, I like to do character creations while talking about these subjects because it kind of focuses me. But yeah, like back to the whole um, what happened with David Raymer. I feel like this type of situation isn't typically a new thing and that forcing gender identities can in itself hurt a child um like if david's parents would have actually not listened to the psychologist and later along the line their child had identified as that maybe it would have been different but the psychologist basically forced their them to raise their kid a certain way that was not comfortable to them and I guess you could dispute this also has to do with gender identities in a whole where, like, the assigned gender for this child for a while was female and the child knew that they were male. But it could also be biologically being ingrained into them because, like, there are so many things you don't know as a kid. And... Personally, I feel so sorry for this guy. I mean, he went through so much and the mental strain that it put upon him, he he went through so much hell and he couldn't even have a kid, a proper child, because of what his parents had done to him. So I don't think parents should decide on what a child does on that behalf, okay? I think personally a child when they are old enough to actually decide on their own, like especially if it's a little after they've gone through puberty, I personally think if it's a little bit after they've gone after, you know, through puberty, it's probably a good age. 
And I know if you do it early enough, the, the child is passable as the opposite gender. But, I mean, even if it's pass passable, you sh probably should still not do it, okay? Because, like I said, what if along the lines your child decides they do not want to do this? And they made a huge mistake. And I just... It's, I don't know. I kind of think it's wrong for yeah. this kind of stuff to happen. And whoever the mother is, I hope she rethinks about doing this to her child before they can even decide things on their own because at this moment it's just basically a he says she says type of thing going on and it's not a what James ah. says kind of thing or Luna mm -hmm. this looks kind of cute but I mean like I, I don't think it looks like a formal outfit I think I might put it as an alternate outfit for every day But yeah, like, um, I don't know, stories like this make me cringe a little, because, like, literally, how could you do this to your kid? Pit them against their other parent, mainly probably because you have some sort of vendetta against them, force the child to fit up something that you uh. think that they should be. And it's really tragic. Um, if they really did respect James slash Luna's um, identity, they should allow James and Luna slash Luna to, you know, pick what they identify as without any sort of pressure from either mom or dad. Because, I mean, it does seem like the mom is forcing this child into this. And I, I know I've said that it's this a few times, but it seems like that. And it's, like, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Ah. Do you think that a kid should transition so fast? I mean, the child is six now. And they're already starting transitioning. Um... I be my personal belief is transitioning should be halted until they're, you know, a little older. Because they should have the right to be able to have children when they get older. I mean, when I... I remember watching a video from one of my favorite YouTubers, and she said that she doesn't regret transitioning... But she does regret not saving, you know, her swimmers. So. She's trying to actually have a kid now. And it's, I guess, difficult because, like, to do so, she has to basically go back to a state that she does not want to yeah. be in. And it, it is rough, because, like, these kids doing it, they don't know what they're doing. Oh, this is kind of cute. I might make this her formal outfit. Um, but I can't find that shirt. I, I'm going to say this. Most of my creations have nothing to do with the subject I'm talking about. I just feel like if I make something in the background, it doesn't make the video as boring. Um, 
Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, this will definitely be her formal outfit. I like it. Um. But I still can't find that. Is it under shirts? Because I was able to put a skirt with it, so I think it might be under shirts. Uh, I can't seem to find it though. But yeah, um, I'm gonna say, please reconsider forcing your child to do this. Con reconsider it completely, because this is a very big thing in their life, and if it turns out that they actually don't identify as that, it would probably hurt you in the long run to know that you basically mutilated your child. And I don't like to use the word mutilated because it, I think it, it, but it does t m properly describe what happens in transitioning does mess with the body quite a bit. Um, and I don't know. I'm completely supportive of transgenders and transgender ideas and basically like I, I, the identities of others. I, as long as they're happy with the body they're in, that's good. But I don't think anybody would be happy if they were forced into a body that they did not personally choose. Like, that's just wrong. Let's see. I think I've said pretty much everything I was thinking about, but yet again, you tell me what you think. This is probably not going to be the most decorat decorated video on my channel because gender identity is still kind of a iffy subject in the community of YouTube and in, in the world in general. But here's my, like, here's what I have to say about this. If you are a teenager who identifies as a particular uh, gender and you truly do feel deep down in your heart of hearts that this is what you are, try going through some sort of therapy because it does actually help because you need to clear your mind before truly deciding on something so extreme. Another thing is, is you probably, before transitioning, you should save, see if you can, save any sort of egg or sperm or anything like that. Um, because the transitioning process will indeed sterilize you. Um, and the last thing you need is to not be able to have the choice to have a child when you get older. Because you don't think about it now, you don't, but, like, when you get older, the, the urge to have a kid is stronger than ever. And to have a baby and of your own, you should have the choice of that. And even though frozen eggs and sperm don't work as well, it does still have a good chance of working. So... You should be able to have the choice to have a surrogate have your kid. Um, you know, I can't even find the dress I was looking at before. Uh, ah. Personally, like th this is all of a you choice, not a my mom decided this, my dad decided this. I think at the end of the day, the person who's being tortured the most would be the kid. <sighs> I mean, I do hope that that sweet child is okay. And whatever <sighs> they decide on, they, 
they should full heartedly be happy with what you know happens to them. Hmm. And if Luna or James dis- is transgender, I will support them every step of the way. But I don't know. And I can't just hit towards one side of this because the c- multiple things could be happening in this story. And I just hope that hmm. James or Luna is safe, happy, and most likely won't have to deal with all this craziness. This is Phantom Celebi, and I hope you like this. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe for more spaz-tastic content. And I'm going to be um, putting out a link below for the research fund that I was talking about called the Brain and Behavior Foundation. Uh, I personally feel like this definitely does fit into the category of uh, how you feel. And definitely should have its own spotlight, you know? So... Um, in the description will be a link to the Brain and Behavior Fund, and I also will link to the story about, um, Dr. Money, and all the Ah. sources I've had for this particular story, and I just want you guys to fully just understand my stance on this, because I, Mm -hmm. personally, I feel like this is wrong. I mean, if you don't care about having a kid... That's all for you, but I don't think anybody at eight years old can decide that. Anyway, see you later. (laughs) Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, so I want to thank you guys for all just joining me for this video. I mean, it's a pretty touchy subject, and I know that it must be really hard, especially for those who are transgender, and they probably did experience some sort of dysphoria growing up, and I am not trying to say anything about them, because this isn't about them. This is about a small child who doesn't exactly know what's going on and is being pulled back and forth by their parents. And it's just sickening and wrong. And I just want you guys to know that if anybody's pressuring you into doing something you don't want to do, you shouldn't have to do it. You should see if you can seek any sort of help as soon as possible. And I just hope that for the sake of this child that they do know what they want and that this isn't going to harm them in any way. And that these parents realize what they're doing is messed up. So... That's just how I feel. Anyway, I want to thank everybody who watched the video, and I want to thank my Phantom Squad top tier. These are the people who really listen to what I have to say and appreciate the words that every single YouTuber has to say about subjects such as race, gender, and all that, and truly take in what's important in the matter. So here's to my top tier. Thanks, Jazz the Chameleon, Potato underscore a bunch of numbers, EDCC Finds, Cute Girl Sim, Calorie underscore Aiken, Malonix5, Carissa Sims, Benjamin GYT, Laura, Lovely Laura, <laughs> I need to change this, I'm sorry, um, EJ Black Dove, Trippy D, Ray of Sunshine, X1, Sonic Jenny, Shipty, Kaleida Sims, Prismatic Simmer, Sims Lena, and Stray Shadow Cat. I want to say you guys have been amazing and hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye.